Hi guys, welcome to the Bookshare Beauty Channel. Lang po na horika jenu ke wala pa, to jenu kyan sa yung cups, darling. Um, hi guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are well. I hope everyone has had a great week. Um, yeah, man. Thank you so much for like watching the previous video. It was a bit hard to make, but I felt good after making it. So, you know, those of you who are back here, welcome. Welcome. Those of you, if it's your first time watching, thank you for taking time out to watch this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe to the Bootle Beauty channel because you know, we aren't serving face all the time, but you know, we do what we can. But if you want me to serve face all the time, just follow me on my Instagram feed because hey, it's quite lit there. It's quite lit. <laughs> Not really, but you know, face beat wise, it's like grand yeah so let's get into today's video today's video i wanted to talk a bit about vulnerability like it's probably chats that like you know well people in my age group who are running around in my age group you know my 25 plus you know us aunties and uncles we talk about vulnerability a lot and it's something like um i've realized i've had to like sit in and you know learn about and what it means to me so basically vulnerability for me at this current moment is a place that i can you know openly um share my feelings talk about um the things that i've been feeling and um feeling like i have the freedom to do so um it's also meaning trying new things being afraid but doing the things despite of the fear you know it's an uncomfortable space but um, I feel like we can learn a lot from being vulnerable, right? And before, I would hear the word vulnerability and I would just... Gone with the wind. <laughs> Literally gone with the wind. So as a person who just like constantly ran from like just feeling things or feeling anything, I got to a place where I was just like, Bushe, bushe babes, bushe babes, just let life in, man, you know. And I think in the year, whenever U Ari Lennox released um, her album, what is it called? Shea Butter Baby. When Ari Lennox released Shea Butter Baby, she had this like, this song, New Apartment on it, and she just goes on a rant about like, um, your furniture is not gonna teach you how to dance. Your, your furniture is not gonna love you. Your furniture is not gonna have sex with you. And then at the end of that, she's like, and then I realized, oh my God, I need people. <laughs> and the babes dragged me. She dragged me. <laughs> she dragged me. And, you know, I just realized, Ooh, you know what, Bushe, this really, it can't go on. You know, you have to, let life happen to you you had you have to um actively participate in your life and you need to be able to put yourself out there to see um what will happen and that's very very uncomfortable you know it's disgusting when i say um being vulnerable i literally mean for me personally, it just means like giving myself a chance um, to live and to let people in. Because, you know, as an introvert, which I actually am, you prefer doing things alone, you want to be at home, you, you know, you don't want too much rakalas around you, you don't want a mess, you don't want stress. And I actually don't want those things, but I had to learn to draw the line between am I just wanting to be alone currently or am I isolating and for me I was isolating because I would go months without like seeing my friends really talking to them because then opening up that door where I was just like constantly just seeing my friends and hanging out and whatever I didn't want to be in a space where um, people could ask me so what's happening in your life you know 
um and it's 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 lonely um it's lonely because i don't think you realize that okay like you have this whole facade where you think oh i'm misunderstood and you know oh, i'm just cool like that and, you know <laughs> you know <laughs> um but like really truly and honestly speaking um you need like i needed to ask myself like am i misunderstood because people generally just don't understand me or like am i not giving people a chance to get to know me which is mind-blowing like <laughs> It's literally mind blowing. It's mind blowing having these realizations about yourself. I had to do like a complete 180, like a very slow 180. Because if I was going to live my life, I had to stop, like, just. You want to say, in go with the flow, see what happens, what, what. It's very dangerous. When you take initiative in your life, it's also very scary. Um, but, um, I've realized in my adult life like I just have to take control of situations because sometimes you can see who they down the line like you know it it's not gonna come together so you have to say okay no let me stop doing this and let my let let me let me see what the what the next thing holds you know so yeah I had to learn to do that and also just like across the board like with people in my life setting boundaries initiating uncomfortable conversations speaking up when i needed help Ugh, i'm saying all these things and i'm just anxiety <laughs> <laughs> anxiety i'm finding that like i said in my previous video if you haven't watched it go watch it <laughs> you just get to a point where you know and you can feel it that if i don't make changes in my life then the changes will happen for me and normally those are those are not nice changes those changes are not nice because like it's like it literally feels like a that not a tornado but what do they say a whirlpool like you know like it literally just feels like you're spinning around and like you you are basically just in the storm and you're waiting for the storm to stop whereas when you're in control you know okay you've made contingency plans about like if this should happen what should i do wada, 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 wada. right so yeah i've been on this like self-actualization journey for like almost two years <laughs> especially when it like comes to vulnerability i I think late last year the eighth hey, the year has been long but either late last year or earlier this year i got myself a book called daring greatly by Brene brown you can watch like a lot of her stuff on youtube she has like a, a thingy called call to courage on netflix and like basically she she just speaks a lot about um vulnerability and like how it shows up in your life and how you run away from it and how you can incorporate it and like um you know show up in your life and she also has a great podcast called unlocking us where she just touches on various things you know and has guests on and what anyways she's not paying me to promote her stuff but she's that good i never thought a white woman could teach me anything <laughs> you know it's been interesting it's been scary but most of all i think i've never been this is the happiest i've ever been in my life and with myself i'm at peace even though at times i'm just like yay what's happening but like you know i'm saying what's happening because i'm trying to make active changes in my life so all i can honestly do is try like all i can honestly do is like push and see where am i going man and um, some of the decisions I'm making, like, yo, I'm terrified. Like, I'm scared, bro. Like, I'm scared. Like, even on this channel, like, I'm scared. Like, yeah, I'm just scared. I'm just always scared. But the thing is, I need to push through the fear. 
and it's very uncomfortable it my anxiety flares up i get mild depression i yeah <laughs> yeah so the question i'm posing to you guys is like um what is vulnerability to you and how do you show up for yourself you know when you feel like um you're shying away from certain things because you're scared of it manifesting into something good and how do you assure yourself you know and do you have a support system that's always there for you so yeah guys i hope like you enjoyed that i liked elaborating on like what vulnerability has been to me hopefully you guys feel the same way <laughs> hopefully you guys like this chat hopefully <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. but yeah guys thank you so much for watching the Wichlip beauty channel thank you so much for subscribing because obviously clearly i was talking i was dropping these bars and you're just like you know what we like this girl you know that's what you said <laughs> um yeah guys until the next video i hope you have a good week um i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are safe um just because the pandemic is just because what's the song just because you're outside doesn't mean the pandemic is over <laughs> but yeah thank you so much guys peace and love and happiness and yeah i hope you have a great week yeah <laughs>